right. Um, <clears throat> so this is a very meager outline because I, I, you're going to have to pick what you need. And, and my guess is that as I talk, you're going to need uh, various people who will need radically different things. Where are you from? If we could just do real quickly. You know, what, what congregation you're coming out of? I'm not asking <laughs> if you're a pastor there or anything. Just what congregation? Kelsonville United Methodist in Lake County. Okay, and that's Mrs. Boris. We live in Shim. Shim, it's not from Arbuckle. Arbuckle, yes. Scott? I'm a Middleton. 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 Middle
academic seminary in the country. And I graduated. Matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I got, uh, I got an award. Very, very exceptional. The award actually came with money. Yeah, isn't that funny? And I had two professors who wanted me to go off and do a doctoral degree. Isn't that amazing? I couldn't, of course, because my call was to be a pastor. But I went off to be a pastor. In Smith River, California, <laughs> One day, Billy walked up to me and said, wow, I didn't understand much of what you said today, but man, you sure are smart. <laughs> Billy hurt me. He hurt me bad. I went home with a broken heart. I prayed to God for 10 minutes and said, Billy, if you are smart, that's nice. If you are good looking, Congratulations. All of us were good looking once. <laughs> just so you remember. Yeah. Uh, but uh, while it's not a full course I really care about, it, and I'm going to do my best for it, Colin uh, made that first comment, and I was thinking about this story about this band preacher who was a Catholic. And the people love him. He's a nice priest, but he's, he's bad. So finally, they, they get together this little group. <laughs> Something we love this priest. We want him to stay. But he's, he preaches pathetically. So they well, let's go see the, the uh, bishop and see if we can come up with an answer. So they see the bishop. They say, we want this kid who's a good young pastor. Who's just, so the bishop says, well, I'll, I'll talk. Bishop sits him down and says, you know, I, I think you might do better if you could find some human interest in your sermon. Uh, how do you do that? Well, you know, here's the story I tell. When I traveled through the parish, I, I said, uh, I'm here to tell you this morning a bit of a confession. I've fallen in love with a woman. She is the most beautiful woman in the world to me. I have opted to give my whole life over to her. And her name, of course, is the Mother Mary. <clears throat> the young priest says, wow, that's kind of terrific. I thought you were designing on that, that. That's so grim. So he goes back home and he starts thinking, I can have that. He finds a spot to put that in his sermon. He says, uh, folks, uh, I have a, a confession uh, uh, that I've, I've, uh, I've fallen in love with a woman. Uh, and she's, she's the most be beautiful woman in the world to me. And, and I, I'm giving my whole life over to her. I'm so nervous. I can't remember her name. <laughs> so, you know, we make our, we make our struggles. And, uh, and all of us have our issues. 